Hi, today I'm going to do a look using nude tones. I'm going to include a lot of classic elements in the makeup, so polished brows, a defined eye, and a really good nude lip that can be adapted to suit any skin tones. It's a really good makeup look, I think, for all occasions. I have a lovely model today. Her name's Monique, and you may recognize her from another tutorial that I did with her about a year ago. So if you like your nude tones, then I think you're gonna love this look. So I'm going to start by using a nice lightweight base. I'm going to use the Miracle Cushion Foundation by Lancome. This gives a really nice light finish. You can smooth it on if you want. Um, it makes a weird noise actually when you're smoothing it on. <laughs> Squeaky. Um, it gives a really light coverage. And then anywhere that you need extra coverage, you can just pat and it gives a bit more coverage. It's SPF 23, so if this makeup is for more of an event where you're going to be photographed a lot, then I would use something with a less high SPF. But this is a great one for most kind of occasions where you just want your skin to look really natural. So a mixture of wiping and patting. It's a nice little face massage. Yeah. <laughs> is this your first cushion experience? Oh, it is, yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> Have you seen these these types no, of foundations I haven't, before? No. It's been a big um, Asian trend, and now they're here. They're just liquid foundations, but they're really portable. And the finish is kind of dewy and really natural. Now Monique's obviously got amazing skin, but anyone else, just keep patting with your cushion where you need extra coverage if there's any little marks. And you can always use concealer as well over the top if you need to. And it's light enough to go under the eyes if you just pat in. It's smooth there and you can blend a little bit of concealer on top if necessary. You're all cushioned up. Love that term. <laughs> I know you've you've adapted to it. Actually, oh, yeah. you've taken to it like a duck to water. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little tiny bit of extra concealer. This is Nars, um, just here and there, to highlight a little bit as well. So just look up for me, Moni. So just buff a tiny bit in. And then I'm just going to blend that in here. And then just look up for me, Monique. I'm just going to put a little bit of powder, very light, just to set. Okay, so on to eyes. I'm going to use a nude palette. This is by The Balm, and it has a selection of... Um, darks and medium tone nude shades. Going to start by using a lightish colour, let me think. This goldy one. Snobby it's called. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Uh -huh. <laughs> and buff that all over. If you have oily eyelids then do use a primer first. The NARS one's actually really good. Next I'm going to use this golden brownie shade called Seductive. And this is a really nice way of introducing some subtle definition. There are lots of really great new tone palettes around at the moment from every price point. From L'Oreal to the Naked palettes by Urban Decay to Bobbi Brown, Laura Mercier etc. What's really great about them is that they have all different shades from light to dark. So they suit a lot of skin tones. So next I'm going to add this really dark chocolatey brown shade. This is called Sleek and this will help to start really defining the socket line. But again, really buffing and blending as I go. Then using a gel liner in black, I'm just going to line Monique's eyes. 
starting quite thin and then towards the outer edge thicken it up a fraction and do a little wing out it's a nice brush that comes with the rimmel let's have a look for me and then I'm just doing it into the inner corner and then thickening up a little bit all the way across Now I'm going to mix the two darkest shades in the palette, the dark brown and the black, they're both matte. The brown shade's the one I used in Monique's socket line. And then just with a tiny amount on, I'm just going to go over that line and really soften it down. Only a tiny amount. It just makes all the difference, it just kind of takes the edge off. Now I'm just applying plenty of Max Factor False Lash Effect in black, just to the top lashes for now. And then before doing the lower lashes, look up for me, money. I'm just using the mixture of the matte black and brown shadow again. And just taking that along the lower lash line. And then plenty of mascara on the lower lashes. It's gonna make you cry. <laughs> And then just join up that line as well. Just look up. Just to the outer corner, that smudge. So onto eyebrows, and I'm going to do a slightly lighter brow. So this is lingering pencil, which is a little bit lighter than Monique's natural brow. And I'm just going to put lots and lots of strokes. So it's sort of thickening but slightly lightening at the same time. In there. And then going over the top of the light pencil with a darker pencil, but just kind of to define not to get a heavy brow on, but it's good for the outer edges. So we kind of have this effect where we've got the light pencil and then a little bit of the darker pencil, so they should in theory, still look nice and light, but have that almost, it's kind of separating out the hairs, so they look natural at the same time. So on to contour and blush, I'm going to use this palette by Guerlain, and these come in lots of different shade variations, so they're good for all skin tones. I'm just going to go along, just under cheekbone and then bringing that up onto the temple, down along the jawline if you need a little bit of contouring there, and then also up onto temple and along hairline. Just keep, keep those movements soft and light. So onto highlighter and I'm going to use this matte yellow highlighter from Anastasia. These are really good contouring and highlighting palettes actually because you can customise them to suit your skin tone. So you choose the colours you want and you can mix and match to suit your needs. So using the yellow powder, just look up for me, I'm just going to do a little bit of a highlight in there. I'm going to put a touch on the top of the eyes and then there's a slightly shimmery one in this palette mixed with the yellow I'm just going to put a touch down the centre Monique's nose and a little shimmer a little highlight there as well just make sure again it's really really well blended and then I'm going to use the blush that was in the contouring palette but just a little pop of colour right on the apples of the cheeks. Okay, so to finish off, to get a nice nude lip, I'm going to use a little bit of the concealer that we used underneath Monique's eyes, which is the NARS, but hardly any. So just a pat over, and this will just take the color out of your lips, but obviously it's a good shade because it's what you've used to conceal. So it's, I mean, it's hardly any. I can't stress enough how little you need. 
And then on top of that, I'm going to use this Clarins Instant Light, which is their natural lip protector, perfector, sorry. This is 06, which is this color, but it comes in all different colors for different skin tones. And just go over the top with that. And obviously if you need to use a lip pencil as well to do a little cheat, then do that first before you do your concealer or your lip gloss. And you could use a sheer lipstick for this as well, it would look lovely. So that's the finished look, just a really classic nude makeup which you can adapt the tone to suit all skin tones. Your skin really looks lovely. beautiful, gorgeous, thanks for coming. Thank you.